I needed it for obvious reasons. Will I use it? Probably not. Well, hello, my lovely nestlings, and welcome to today's video, which is going to be my November haul. Yes, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm 45 from the Netherlands, hence the accent. And if you love makeup just as much as I do, <laughs> if you love to be entertained, and if you want to be inspired by unusual color combinations, and if you want to hear about brands that no one else is talking about, then this is the channel for you. Subscribe now, become part of my nestlings, because we are having a blast here on the internet. I have to cough uh, on occasion because I'm still recovering of um, the, the the big C. Basically, I am pre-filming this. So I don't exactly know when this video will go up. Well, no, it should go up pretty quickly. Um, I did a get ready with me talking about basically the big C and, and, and how that happened for me a little bit. I will link it underneath the cards. Guys, I have so freakishly much this month. It's just insane. So make sure that you have a, gr uh, a drink and a snack handy. And um, I have something from every well, Black Friday. You know, we all know about Black Friday. Black Friday happened as well. Yes. Mm. Uh, let's start with something that's not skincare or, or makeup related at all. It's actually piercings. Usually I buy my piercings off of AliExpress. Uh, the piercing that I have, the septum piercing that I have in right now, it's not the standard 1.2, but it's, or it's not 16G. It's 14G, so it's one size up, uh, bigger. and um, But they don't have fun ones on AliExpress. So when I went searching, I found a shop on Etsy. And I, for the life of me, right now cannot remember her shop name. I will link it down below. Uh, she hand makes them from, I think it's from the Ukraine. Um, and I ordered a few. So I have here a silver, I hope you can see. I have here a silver one. Thank you. And... They, she has different ones. She has all kinds of styles that you can choose from. You can uh, choose the thickness. You can choose the, 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 the width. You can choose um, what kind of color stones you want. So I have a silver with, with blue stones in it. I have a rose gold with green. And I don't even know if it will focus. Kind of a little, I think. With green. And then I have a rose gold that is just with rose gold bits. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I want another silver one because she also has uh, uh, white opals. And I think that will be pretty as well. And especially when my hair is silver, I like to have silver jewel, jewel, jewelry in then. Otherwise, when my hair is my own color, it's just... Uh, I, I use rose gold because that looks best with my olive complexion. The box that it came in is this. And it's just so, so cutesy. So I will link her site down below. Um... Yeah, go check her out. Go check her out. And maybe maybe you can find something for you. And she has a bunch of different pier piercings. So basically, you, you you choose the color, you choose the size, and you choose well, what kind of stones you want. And, and the, the, the shapes that she can make. So very, very fun. I'm very happy that I found her. And um, I have more in my cart that I want to order. I love me my jewelry. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to mention is perfumes. Now, I am on a perfume kick. Uh, I have been for quite a while. I have a few different ones uh, downstairs, but I know that Angelica raves about this brand. And this brand is called, I think it's called Demeter. Uh, we call it House of Fragrance here in Europe. And I bought a bunch of things on Zalando um, when they were kind of having a sale. And with a bunch of things, I mean eight. Yes, these scents are, oh, I have, uh, I'm very happy that my kind of smell is coming back because I have the scent Thunderstorm on. These are rollables. They have different sizes, but I wanted the rollable. And <coughs> the scent Thunderstorm, it's very, very subtle, but it's so, it's, I don't know how they do it. So I have Thunderstorm, I have Rain, I have Amber, I really like The scent amber as well. I have cupcake, which smells like cupcake. It's just insane. And then I also want to mention the shade Banana Flambe. Now, usually when you have a banana scent, you get those artificial sweets. That scent, this, smells completely like Banana Flambe. I don't know how they did it, but when I smell this, I'm like... Oh. It smells of true 
honest to god banana flambe. I also have the scent tomato. Let me smell it. Oh, and this smells, it smells, and I know that Angelica has this one as well. It smells like a tomato plant. It's just, I don't know how they did it. But they were 20% 20, 20 off and I just got a bunch. I wanted to try them first, so I have them in a rollerball. Uh, also, the uh, frankincense is my least favorite, actually, out of the bunch. Um, Fireflies also. Oh, heavenly, it I don't know, but heavenly, heavenly, heavenly. So if you have a Zalando, uh, look for House of Fragrance. And otherwise, I think I think it's called Demeter in the USA. Definitely, definitely worth checking them out. Okay, let's next go to skincare. I made an uh, ordinary order. I usually do that around, well, in the month of November because I have, I think, 23 or 30% off, it's one or the other. So I basically got a bunch of stuff. I got two full size or two big size of buffet i got i think a retinol in squalane i got board seed oil because that goes on everything and yeah and i kind of forgot to uh, add squalane so i i ordered that one uh, later from beauty bay actually because i was making a beauty bay order anyway yeah it's just um, that that's the the time that i stock up on uh, the ordinary and the buffet i keep going back to buffet I have tried a bunch of different um, um, peptide serums and I keep going back to the ordinary because I just like that one the best. So yeah, um, I also wanted to try beauty based skincare. So I bought the uh, Acid Trip Exfoliating Toner AHA and PHA and I used it today for the first time. I don't know because I used it today for the first time. It felt nice. It didn't burn and it shouldn't. Uh, it felt nice. And then I also bought the day one moisturizer with ginseng and squalane. Now my face is normal, but it can get dehydrated, especially in uh, winter. I want something though that is for day to day use. I want something that is a bit light, um, but I love squalane and I used it today again for the first time. It smells very, very nice and it felt nice on my skin. It felt like it had substance, but still was not thick and heavy for uh, during the day. So that's good. What I also did, and I actually failed to open up the package. Of course, they are sewing something. I also ordered a new uh, Boomy Natural Moisturizer. Uh, because the one that I have downstairs is getting very, very low. And I wanted a replacement, so that's what I did as well. Um, yeah, and then that's it for kind of skincare and other. I have an other, I have a few others, but that's in PR. So we will get to that later because PR is later in the video. Um, I also ordered foundations. Let's start with this one. Lisa Eldridge um, launched her foundation, the foundation. And I bought shade 16. Is it shade 16? Yeah. Which is <coughs> when I got it a tad too dark. Um, I love it so much though that I also bought shade 9, but that's technically for December. And when I um, have shade 9 and then a hint of this one, that's the perfect color for me right now. I have it on my face today. I love this foundation so, so much. I think it's such a pretty foundation. I do have to say that um, if you don't shave your face, then um, spray your face afterwards so that it basically you, you clean up your hairs, you know. That's the way to get it to look natural, at least for me. Uh, if I've shaved my face, I have I don't have to do that. Um, but yeah, I, I I I love it. I did a video with it, and um, I will probably forget to link it. If you want to know my, some other thoughts, what are we doing? <laughs> Thank you. Um, go watch that video. And then I got uh, the EX1 foundation. This one is not for me though. This one is for my bestie because she loves the foundation. I detest the foundation. She loves it. So I got her another bottle. Okay. And then let's go to falsies. I made an order from Vive. I wanted to try her half lashes and I have two styles. I have the style HL2 or something, which is this. Thank you. And I have the style Smokey. I like this one the best, actually. 
so this one is the one that i use the most and um I don't know, I like it, the way that it's nice and spiky. And it is fun to just not be, have to cut um, the falsies to length. Because they are already there. They are, they are a little bit shorter than I usually cut mine. But I, I, don't, I don't necessarily feel that they are half lashes. For me they are basically three quarter lashes. But I think that they are very, very nice. Okay, then House of Lashes came to uh, Europe. They came to Boozy Shop, so I bought... Two sets of Iconics, and I'm wearing Iconics actually right now. And I bought one Icon... Oh, no! No! Iconic Light. So here is the difference. I really do like them. They're nice and open and spiky. The band is a little bit thicker than I'm used to, though. So um, I, I'm, I kind of have to flex them up a little bit. But I really do like them. And I have been using them... If I have been using falsies, which granted for the last few weeks wasn't often because I was sick. So yeah, what can you do about it then? Um, I also got three new... These are basically backup. The uh, brow pen that I use, or brow pencil that I use right now is from MUA. It's the only one that I can find in grey that is uh, affordable. That's what I have when I have my silver hair. But I cannot get them in store. So I just bought three backups. So I have enough for i don't know a few months or something like that yes okay then let's go to christian odette i have um, their collaboration with mel thompson restocked again so i got the kitten liner and i got the um, lipstick in uh, puffin here the lipstick oh and i love this lipstick so so much that co this color yeah and can we just... Oh, do not... Ah, I like that. I, um, I love this color. I actually think it looks better on me than a red. I think it's more complementary to my skin tone. And I did not expect to like the color as much as I do. Just with a nude eye or just a wing and falsies. And then this bright orange... Li yeah, very, very pretty. Okay, so I got those, yes. What... <laughs> um, Oh yeah, let's go to this lippy then. Yeah. Um, Paul and Joe released their holiday collection. It was lippies. I have one here. I have the orange one here. I liked the packaging of this one the best as well. But can we... It is a cat in a Santa hat. Can you see that? Can you? I needed it for obvious reasons. Will I use it? Probably not. Sometimes, sometimes stuff just happens. And I was making an order uh, from, I think I got this at Look Fantastic. I made an order there anyway um, uh, for something else that you will see later in the video. Uh, what can I say? They got me. They truly, truly got me. Okay, let's go to... Um, some blushes then and let's go to this one first from be perfect and that's the shade magma so the shade magma is in one piece i haven't tried this one yet so i don't know how the color is um but yeah i will try it in uh trying new makeup i think or something like that so i got those yes then <coughs> x revolution launched um Liquid blushes, and I love liquid blushes, so I bought one shade. Why are the packagings always so difficult to open? Thank you. Okay, so this is the shade. I like I like how it looks. Um, yeah, I don't know if I like the pump system, but that's okay. It looks, it looks pretty sheer. I kind of... But I have to see how it is on my face because I haven't tried it yet. And this is the shade... Dainty. Yes. It looks like a dainty shade. Yes. Um, what else? Then Nabla released... <coughs> their two reasons. Or no, their blushes as well. And I have the shade... I think it's two reasons. Um... 
that I haven't tried either yet. So you get on one side is a blush and then another side is basically a highlighting topper and both are creams. Um, and they are multifunctional as well. So yeah, I'm I'm it looks it looks stunning. So I think that was yeah Black Friday. Yeah, that's 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 kind of what happened. A little bit. Okay, and they also released their freckle tint that I haven't tried yet because I haven't yet. Yeah. Okay, and then let's go to Colourpop because uh, they released. I wasn't going to make a Colourpop order. There's another one on its way, by the way, because they they, they released also the black candles individually. Can you guess? But yeah, that that's for for December. So um, the Mandalorian released, and I actually bought it on launch. I have tried this. Once in the get ready with me where I talk about me having the big C. This is the palette that I use. I like this color. Dare I say that I like this color right now more than the child palette. You know why? Because they put a mustard yellow in. They put this one in. And I love that in combination with the gray. What can I say? I love the look that I did with this one actually. And then I also ordered from the Tinkerbell collection. I have been wanting to try another Super Shock highlighter and another Super Shock blush. And I got to one. I'm actually, I have this on my face today. So I have the shade Magic Moon. And then the other shade is the highlighter is Happy Thoughts. So the highlighter that I have from Colourpop is a shade Wisp, which looks very, very pretty on me. And this is just a little bit more on the rosy side, but still very, very happy. And then in combination with the blush, again, I have it on my uh, face today. Um, I think it's very, very pretty. Okay, let's go to VE Cosmetics. Because I made an order. Um, it took a while to get to me because it was stuck in, cusp in customs. What can you do? <laughs> I have two new magic potion shades. I have the shade So Without, which is this one, which is more orangey uh, based. And I have the shade uh, Trust Your Gift. Okay, let me swatch them. Oh, this is so stunning. So here's the first shade. And when they dry... Uh, they change color so I can kind of already see that it is starting to dry a little bit and then almost the green is coming a little bit through so we will see what happens and then the other shade oh this one is just it's kind of like sage sage green oh, I love this shade so much I think it's so so pretty and you can use these as liquid eyeshadow you can use them as liquid liner that's how I usually use them you can use them as lip toppers or liquid lipsticks I really, really like it. Now I kind of see that it also has a hint of a pink. Hint of a pink? <sighs> hint of a pink. <laughs> wow. Let's see what happens when they dry. Okay. Uh, I also got a new lipstick from her in the shade Activist. Which is a little bit more of a peachy. It's a little less pink than her previous one, I feel. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I do like her, li uh, her lipstick formula. I do like it, yes. And then the palette that I ordered was the Spellbound, which released uh, on Halloween. And um, I haven't tried it yet. So here she is. But I love her formula. I, I actually don't really know if I'm able to, to try it. Maybe I will use it off camera. I don't know, but I love her formula. I do have a discount code with V Cosmetics, by the way. In case if you want to save some money. Okay, next go to um, Lethal Cosmetics. They released their Berlin 89. I got the palette, which is here. And here's the color story. If you want to know some more thoughts on this palette, I uh, because the video that I did was for members only, but I just um, it is uploaded, but it's not online yet, I think, and that's ranking my last 
13 palettes and I rank this one and I talk more about this one as well but suffice it to say I think that this formula is amazing I think that this is actually my favorite formula of them yet yeah and then I also ordered two new lip things I ordered a gloss in the shade Paradox, which is kind of a burnt orange. And I ordered a lipstick in the shade Arrival. I love this color so, so much. It's so complimentary on me. Mm. Stunning. Yes. Then, do you remember the cat in the hat um, lippy? Yes, you do, right? Well, the reason that I ordered that one, well, yeah extra I, I, I don't think I would have ordered it if I did not buy this particular thing which is from Barry M which is the Bumblebee palette I needed it obviously uh, unfortunately Barry M's uh, UK site doesn't uh, did not want to ship this to me and so that was very very sad but I think it's look fantastic was it look fantastic that I ordered this one from and then I was like you know let me let, let me then just also put in the cat in the hand in the hand um, so uh, there's also proceeds donated to UK's insect population here's the color story does it remind me of a bumblebee not necessarily honestly I could care less because that was not that purchase from look fantastic was just purely because of packaging I wanted the bumblebee palette I wanted the cat in the hat lippy And that is what happened. Will I use both? I have no idea. But I don't really care. Sometimes. I don't try to do that often. But sometimes it's just the lay of the land. Then I. Um, yeah. I got the Sigil Toad palette. We can we can have a long discussion over it. But I, if you know me uh, a little bit longer. I am collecting these palettes. I'm not really a completionist. With makeup um, not anymore at least but these palettes these egg palettes i want them all so yes the snake is on its way to me yes it is and this is the toad palette and it's just such a yummy wintry color story and i loved the looks that i did with it very very much so the last thing that i bought for because after that is pr it's the ace beauty tropical vibes palette Yeah, people are losing their minds over this and I understand why. This, this for me is my perfect everyday, well, yeah, is my perfect everyday neutral palette. Being an olive, different kinds of olive tones. I loved the quality. I loved all the looks that I did with this. The first look, I, I actually in the multiple looks video went row by row because I like to do that as well. And the first look was this and it was an all matte look. Oh, it was stunning. It was stunning. It is sitting here next to me where my basically uh, everyday or most used palettes are. That one is there as well. Yes, uh, this was yeah, this was everything that I bought. Now I'm going to go to PR, which is insane. Honestly, let's start with a very, very cute thing. Um, Because in my new makeup releases, I um, also mention stuff that's not makeup. Because I just, I think it's fun. It brings something different to the table. And when someone, uh, one of you actually sent me a post through DM on Instagram about a brand that made skull planters. I was like, I'm going to talk about that. It's actually a Dutch company and I will link their site down below. They are called New Anthea. And um, I, I mentioned in my video, an uh, itty bitty mini skull planter for in the car and they sent me one so this is it and then basically when you order you can choose if you want to have the things like that or you have the things like that you know it's 3d printed um they also gifted me gifted me a tulip i love tulips actually in case you don't know so yeah this is this is sitting here um upstairs because it's just too cutesy what can i say I, i love this it's just so so fun it's very very sturdy as well so let's go to madage and beauty london they are uh basically um 
a reseller site, but they also have their own stuff. They are located in the UK, or at least their site for me is in the, in the UK. And they sent me four of their eyeshadows and the lip gloss. So here are the shades. I have tried this formula and it's a very, very nice formula. I love the formula of this. It's just not something that I use. So... Yes, unfortunately, uh, I'm I'm not going to use these. I'm going to give them because I just I just don't use stuff like that. And they also sent me a lip gloss um, in Venom. Where is the lip Venom? Oh, oh, it's a plumping one. I can already smell it. I cannot smell a lot. Yeah, it's a plumping one. So I'm actually I like plumping glosses a lot. So I'm very interested to try this one. So, <coughs> yeah. Okay. Next, let's go to Vico, no, to um, Unearthly Cosmetics because she came out with lip, liquid lipsticks and I got the entire range. No! One is falling. I got them all. They are still in the box. You see that? Yeah. Uh, they, they will keep in the box. I, I am wearing one of the shades. In the sh it's the shade Diana. And I love this formula. This formula. Does it dry down? Not completely. Mm. But it's not drying. I think that the formula is very nice. And I think that the colors that she has are very, very cool. There are normal colors in there. There are funky colors in there. Uh, I know that I said that I would lip swatch them. But that was before I got sick. Um, and I'm missing two weeks basically. So I don't think I will be able to lip swatch them all. If you want to see a lip swatching video on a cool toned olive though. I will leave a video down below in the description box. Done by my friend Debbie. Uh, she swatched them all on her lips. So go watch her video if you want to see what the colors look like. <coughs> okay. The next thing that um, was also <coughs> in the mail. That has been here for a little while. It came actually before the lippies. It's the Witching Hour palette from um, Unearthly Cosmetics. She she still has Alien Cosmetics here. But it's now rebranded to Unearthly Cosmetics. It's a very heavy palette by the way. I haven't tried it yet. I actually really want to. Because I have heard some mixed things about this. I have heard that uh, the shadows are very very hard pressed. Yeah I can kind of feel that a little bit. This is the shade Sigil. It does look pretty though. So I do really want to try this. Um, I don't even think that it is in stock anymore right now. Maybe it is. I don't know. But yeah, that's unfortunately that's the downside sometimes. Especially when you don't live in the USA. Stuff just takes a little while to get to you, you know. Okay, and then I'm going to go to Base Blue Cosmetics. And Base Blue Cosmetics, I have talked about them on numerous occasions. Uh, if you remember my UV um, Glow in the Dark Ghosty Sponges, those are also from Base Blue Cosmetics. Um, I don't know, I don't think that they ship outside of the USA regularly. Um, but they were kind enough to gift me their newest palette, which is inspired by a painting from a Dutch painter called Vermeer. And it is Girl with the Pearl Earrings. Now, here is the palette. Yes. Here's the inside of the palette. It's just, it's, it's just her, let's do it like this. It's just her face and it's just so cool. It looks, um, when I look at the shadows, they look to be uh, the gray of her earring and the blue of her um, wrap are mattes. And then the rest is more, I think, satin shimmer. I haven't tried it yet. And I do want to because I'm very, very curious to see how their formula is. So I do really want to try them. I will probably go in light handed as not to mess it up too much. Um... But yeah, it's just... And I think that they will do more of this line. If I'm not mistaken, the palette is already available. I will link it down below where you can find it. But yeah, it's just so, so interesting what they are doing. And um, it truly... It just looks like a work of art, you know. That's And in everything that is coming out... All the things that are so, so extremely similar... To have something like this stand out... Now, I know that it's not everyone's cup of tea. But when I saw the palette, I was like... This is stunning. So... Thank you so, so much, Baseboo, for sending it to me. And I am going to try it. 
I am. So the next thing is from Saints, Angels, Sinners. This is the A Grateful Heart palette. And this is what the outside looks like. I think she also gave me a discount code. But I'm actually not sure. I think so. All my discount codes are down in the description box. The color story of this is very, very pretty. And this one does have a slight um, flip. Maybe I can show it to you like this. Sometimes that helps. Yeah, and you can see the mess in my desk. But you can also see that it has a little bit of an orangey shift. Orangey flip. I hope at least that you can see that. Um, I'm very, very interested. I th more is on the way. I don't know when it will get here, but I do know that more is on the way in PR. So I'm very excited to try this one, actually. Um, then I have Nomad Cosmetics. Yeah, so I have two eyeshadow palettes left. And then I have some other stuff. So let's start with the thing that came out first that arrived last, which is this one. The Venice Simplen Express. And this is what she looks like. Can I just say? This was in the collabor uh, collaboration between Nomad Cosmetics and Ipsy. I love this one so much. Uh, this is all the colors from their Orient Express. The ones that I really, really like to use together. And I have been using this a few times now. Off camera. And, and I just do a neutral look. <laughs> I love this. I... Yeah, this, this for me is a very well curated version of the Orient Express. I love the aesthetic, I love the quality, and I love the color story. What can I say? I'm turning into a basic bitch. Yeah, I, I, I love this as well though. But mm. And then their holiday palette is here. And this was also gifted in PR. This is Home for the Holidays. And this is an almost all shimmer palette. Only the black is a matte. The rest are shimmers. And the red and this... Those are my two favorites. This red, it's such, and I have said this before, this is such a smooth red. I think it's my perfect red because it has a cool toned red base, um, but it has a warm toned red sparkle in it. So it basically shifts from uh, blue red to neutral red to warm red. And it's just stunning. And then this shade... Mm, Yeah, stunning. I did three looks with this. I think so. Yes, I did three looks with this. Okay, then I'm going to go to two things that are, well, not makeup anymore. Let's start with this from the brand Livinti. Uh, it's uh, an oil cleanser. This is just the outer box because I have uh, the oil downstairs. This is the perfect facial cleansing oil. Gently removes makeup and impurities for all skin types. This has a slight rose scent. I detest rose scents usually, at least the artificial rose scents. But this is so slight uh, that I really do like the smell. And I think that it's a very, very nice oil. The pump system and the bottle feel very luxurious. And it, it truly does what it says it does. It's perfect. Uh, you just, you know, pump it on your face massage it on your face and then you can just rinse it off and if you want to cleanse after that again you can yeah i love this i think this is a very 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 nice cleansing oil is it the best one that i have tried cleansing oil wise yes i'm going to say yes because i am more of a cleansing balm person but i do really really like this one this is a very very nice cleansing oil i will link it down below i don't know if they gave me a discount code i forgot um But I will link down below where you can find it. Then the last thing that I got as PR. I actually got, I actually, uh, got it last month as PR already. But I haven't talked in uh, that whole video. Because I wanted to film an unboxing first. Uh, which is live on my vlog channel. But it's from the brand Homely. And it's their IPL device. I have never, ever tried an IPL. Um, I actually thought it was just for hair removal until I started reading the booklet because it's apparently also for hyperpigmentation and stuff like that and discoloration in your skin. I haven't tried it yet. I want to. I just yeah, haven't, haven't gotten around to it yet. But you know that I have it. If you have this one, let me know. Let me know how you use it. I'm curious. I'm very, very curious to try this um, 
to try this device because if it works it will make my life so much easier and then i don't i don't i won't have to shave my faces often <gasps> or my armpits or other places just say I don't have a lot of hair on my leg. I think I have 10 hair. They're all black hair though. But I don't have a lot of hair on my legs. But I'm very interested to try this. And then that was it, guys. For the haul. I, I kind of could keep it relatively short. Wow, go me. So, another call, uh, five minutes has passed because I needed to cough. But that's okay. Uh, I'm getting there. It's, it's all okay. You know, I'm very, very grateful that my body could take care of itself. So, let's just say that. And that was it for today. If there's any specific things that you want to see, uh, let me know down below. Uh, eyeshadow wise, I have done videos with almost everything. Um, yeah, you will see some other stuff that I already filmed my opinion on in the best of beauty of the month of November, which I will film probably after that i think i will just change up my shirt and just film it as well so i have that one filmed um, and there i will give you some more in-depth thoughts and the stuff that i haven't formed my opinion on yet i will keep on trying and i will let you know how it is in the best of beauty of january but this was it for today thank you so so much for watching uh if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below i'm going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening may your foundation always match your neck and i will see you very soon in my next one bye guys mm -hmm.